The next thing, you didn't ask this one, but the people say Wahhabi. Catch yourself before you say that. Stop yourself. The other word I told you is Arabic word, so is this. It means to bestow, to give. Al-Wahhab, if you say Al-Wahhab, you must be very careful now. You just said Allah's name. Allah is Al-Wahhab. He is the bestower, the ultimate bestower. So you don't take Allah's name and play with it like that. What really happened over 200 years ago, there was a student of knowledge who memorized the Quran when he was not even a teenager yet. He studied all of the fiqh, jurisprudence of the Hanafi. Then he began to study others. And his father, who was a scholar, told him to stop. Just stay with what we have. He said, I want to learn the others. His father almost disowned him because of it. It was very upsetting. You know, don't do that. But he wanted to learn all of it so he could understand. And he began to learn quite a bit. He became convinced that he needed to learn more. And he discovered through this learning that the people of his time were making a grave mistake. I use the right word too, because they were worshiping at graves. They were literally going to graves and calling upon dead people to help them. Righteous people, good people, but they're dead. And even if they were alive, what could they do? We could only make dua for you. Nobody's got any magic. You ask Allah to solve these impossible situations and he can do it. And that's what he was telling the people. And some of those who were making money or getting good position in the community out of these grave worshiping deals took exception to his group because they came in and kicked over all of these monuments on these graves. And of course they had no evidence to support what they did, so instead of dealing with the rationale of why don't you look at what you're doing is wrong, instead they labeled his followers as Wahhabi. Why? Because they couldn't call him by his real name. His name was Muhammad, and they would have had to say they're Muhammadans. <laughs> and you know, no Muslim would do that anyway. So they call him Wahhabi because his father was, Al, uh, was Abdul Wahhab. So he was Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. And he wrote a book called Kitab al Iman. The book, if you read it and take the cover off and you don't know who wrote it, you'll say, This is a great book. Uh, it's very good about the belief in Allah is one and the teachings that come with it. It's kind of like a workbook. It just has a few verses or something and then tells you to go look up the rest of it. And it was given to some scholars who were attacking and saying, these Wahhabi people, so and so on. So what do you think about Kitab al Says It's a bad book. Don't read it. It's read. Okay. So they gave him the book without the cover on it. Didn't tell him. This is a scholar. I'm not going to tell you who. Big scholar. Current. He read it and he loved it. He said, this is the aqidah of a real Muslim. The belief system of a real Muslim. And when they said, well, here's the cover for the book. And he went, huh? And he said, astaghfirullah, I made a mistake. Big mistake. All of us need to understand that whenever somebody doesn't want to admit their mistake, it's a lot easier to point and say, he's a Wahhabi. They're so and so. They're such and such. Rather than admit what? And we're going to go back and look again at what we said in our speech. The king has no clothes. Ooh. All of us make mistakes. Just admit it. What is the big deal? Only Allah is free of mistakes. <laughs>